And peace be unto you from God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm Bishop Eric Kincaid Clark, and welcome to our Friday night service. It is Holy Week. It is a time that we look back on the death, burial, resurrection of Jesus Christ. And we have been doing it all week long. We've been fasting. and Fast is over. Yes, yes, yes. Fast is over. Thank God for those that did turn their plates down and make some special time before the Lord this week. Oh, it's been great all week long. Pastor Vanetta, uh, Pastor Buckner, uh, Minister Brunson, Lawan, uh, LaShonda did a great job for us this morning. Minister Erica did good. Everybody did great for us. And it has been delicious. Pastor Pope minister the good word. And tonight we are not going to get anything less. Hey man, my wife, Pastor Lenore, your pastor, my girl, amen, brings us, bringing us the word of God tonight. Call somebody, like it, share it, hit all the buttons, follow and subscribe. And uh, let's get right into the good word of God on this Friday night, this good Friday night. To remind you, we have a special service. We want everyone to do their part to join us and to tune in this Sunday as we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We will be live and in person at the Silver Spot Cinema there in Orange Village. That's right. Bring the kids, bring the family, bring everyone. It's going to be great, great, great. If you want to arrive early, get there at 930, smidge it before so you can get right in and be seated, and uh, it's going to be great. All right, let's get right into the good word of God. Here is Pastor Lenora. Well, praise the Lord. I am Pastor Lenora Clark, and I greet you in Jesus' name. This holy week has been powerful. The word has been going forth with power and demonstration. We give God praise for all of the uh, previous uh, ministers that have gone forth. I give God praise for our bishop, our leader, Bishop Eric Clark. The word of God is just powerful in his mouth. We thank God for the new model of ministry that he has uh, began to trailblaze. We thank God for that and the opportunity that he has given us as ministers to go forth and minister from our location. We give God praise. Now, my lesson today is uh, concerning the crucifixion, which can be found in Matthew 27. Let's talk about the crucifixion. First, let's pray. Father, we thank you. We thank you for another day that you've kept us. We thank you for bringing us along this journey, journey God. God, we thank you for the accounts of the crucifixion that have gone forth to this point, God. God, we thank you for your grace and your power and your insight. We pray in Jesus' name that something that's said today will bring about a change in somebody's life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Well, let's talk about the crucifixion. Have you ever been accused of anything that you didn't do? All the time. We've all been accused of something. It leaves us hopeless. It leaves us helpless. It leaves us with a feeling of no control. Okay. And with that being said, when we're in trouble, when we're, uh, uh, in a situation, most times, most of us would try to explain our way out and uh, or not even our way out, explain the, 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 the happenings that took place. We like to defend ourselves. OK. And so with that being said, Jesus, he didn't defend himself. There was a trial and throughout each uh, uh, place that they took him. He didn't say anything. He kept it going. He he took whatever they were giving us. It's like uh, the police. Uh, I don't know if you have, uh, I know you know and you have heard of the George Floyd uh, incident or the Eric Garner incident. Those are accounts of, uh, we say, police brutality or uh, 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 excessive force. And so with that being said, those people didn't have the ability to defend themselves or say anything. But Jesus had an uh, opportunity to go forth and try to defend himself. And he didn't. 
And so with most of us, it leaves us, like I said, powerless and, uh, and, 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 and feeling like we don't have control over the situation. And uh, a lot of us have been lied on and, and, and talked about and things of that nature. And it's not a good feeling. And so let's go back to the crucifixion. Jesus was being tried. He was going from place to place and uh, all the crowd and all the people were totally against him. They said he was the king of the Jews. They said he called himself the Messiah. Well, in all actuality, he didn't call himself the Messiah, but uh, uh, the people did. And the people called him the king of the Jews. Okay. He said, I am the son of God, but he didn't say he was the Messiah. During the trial, the crowd begged Pilate to crucify him. Pilate didn't see any wrong in what Jesus was doing and what how Jesus uh, was acting acting. And so he washed his hands against the whole situation. And he said, his blood is not on my hand, it's on yours. And so the people pushed Pilate to have Jesus crucified. Crucifixion was the most deadliest form of punishment that someone could, could encounter. Crucifixion was the nailing of the hands, nailing of the feet, hanging, uh, dying. It was all about suffering. It was all about making someone uh, suffer to the extreme. How are you being beaten? How are you being uh, uh, abused? How are you being uh, 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 tortured? That's what crucifixion was. It was torture. It was suffer suffering. It was being beaten. It was being hung. It was being uh, stripped of your 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 dignity. It was. It was being shamed. It was being humiliated. That's what a crucifixion was. And there were three different types of uh, intensities of the crucifixion, beatings of, of, of such. You had, you had the light uh, beating for light crimes. You had a mid beating for, for mid, mid crimes like a robbery, but you had the most crucial which was the crucifixion uh, unto death for 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 a, a, a murder or some sort of crime to that effect. But there were intensities of the crucifixion that uh, most people just couldn't endure. And Jesus endured the most crucial uh death possible, the most crucial intensity of the crucifixion that, that was possible. They beat him 39 times. If they had beat him 40 times, he would have died. 40 would have put him over the top. And so he took up until the dying point of beating that he could take, that a human could take. He took the capacity of the beatings and we praise God for him even going to the cross and putting forth his uh, life for us. But with that being said, they nailed him in his hands and his feet. The nails were about uh, three inches, three feet, about this long. OK, and they would nail him. Most times we think it was in his hands, but we, it wouldn't go in his hands because it wouldn't hold up his flesh. They put it in his wrist and the guards, the, the, the soldiers had to have uh, done this before. They had to be precise because if they had hit an artery, he would have died. And the whole purpose of the crucifixion was for them to suffer. And so they didn't want to hit an artery. So they would precise in where they placed the nails and they were precise in where they placed the, the, the nails in their feet. And so the soldiers had to be experts in it. And so with that being said, uh, could you have taken on any of this? Just considering it, just thinking, could you have taken on any of this? And he did it willingly. The death of Christ, mankind's 
uh, uh, required a sacrifice. The sins of mankind required a sacrifice. And Jesus became our sacrifice. He became the lamb that was slain on our behalf. Can you imagine being beaten, beaten, walking up the road, being beaten, whipped to with sores, open sores in your body where you couldn't put salve on it, you couldn't put anything on it. And then they put a hundred pound cross, a hundred pounds or more cross on your back and you have to carry it up a hill, up a hill to your death. Can you imagine that? Oh my God. And you were beaten uh, to almost unrecognizable. They beat you. They spit in your face. They beat you with a rod. I mean, they have uh, definitely broken you down. But with that being said, now you're going through the city. You're being paraded through the city like an animal. You're being paraded through the city and you're being shamed. You're being humiliated. You're being broken down even further and you're heading to your death. Oh my goodness. Now you're at the cross. You're hanging there and it's two thieves on each side and they both are taunting you and, and asking you, come down, come down, save yourself. If you're the king, save yourself. And so all of this is going on. You're hanging there. You're crucified. And then your mother shows up at your death, at your crucifixion. Let's look out of the lenses of Mary, Jesus's mother, who bore a child. She had this child of the Holy Ghost. Can you imagine having a child of the Holy Ghost where when you tell your husband that you're pregnant, he wants to put you away. He doesn't even want you. He doesn't even want you. And so the Lord does something in him. He closes his mouth and speaks to him and tells him that to don't put you away. And so you have this child of the Holy Ghost. You watch it grow. He's 12 years old, confounding the 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 in the temples talking to the teachers he's 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 walking on water he's healing the sick he's giving sight to the blind this is your child he's been beaten he's been humiliated he's been shamed and he's doing it for the for the world there's no reason you're trying to figure out what 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 happened. What happened? Can you imagine? You know, my kids they 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 they've been um, uh, through a lot. Let me just say that they've been through a lot, and the worry of a mother, the ache of a mother. They weren't only crucifying Jesus Christ. In my eyes, they were crucifying Mary too. Can you imagine? Some of us have the loss of your child. Can you imagine the imprisonment of your child? Wow. Can you imagine? Your child is telling you the whole time, I did not do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. And most of us as mothers believe our child. I didn't do it. It's nothing that I did. Can you imagine Mary at the foot of Jesus watching her child die on the cross, hanging there for hours, watching them give him vinegar, watching them pierce him in the side, watching him uh, 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 cry out to his God, his father, 
Can you imagine the pain, the heartache, the suffering of Mary? Oh my goodness. I want to minister to some of the mothers out there. Even though your child may be on drugs, your child may be in jail, your child may be uh, out there doing scrupulous things, don't give up on them. Know that God sacrificed his life for them. Don't give up on them. Because what you planted, maybe God will, God will give the increase. He always does. What you planted. Scripture says, train up a child in the, in the way that he should go. And when he's old, he won't depart. So what you planted is going to bring fruit. Just make sure you plant the word of God on the inside of them. Make sure that God is, 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 is their root. Amen. Now, how has this crucifixion impact your life? The fact that Christ was innocent, but he gave his life for you and me. He gave his life for all of our sins. He gave his life. He didn't just say, okay, I'm going to die for you. No, they beat him. They beat him to a pulp. They hung him on a tree. They took him to the place of skulls, which was Golgotha. And there he hung his head and died. He called out to the father, if, father, father, forgive them for they don't know what they're doing. They don't know that they're killing you and killing me and killing me. They don't know. Father, help them. Don't judge them, Lord. Don't judge them, Father. And so I do want to say to you, the crucifixion. When you're in times of trouble, when you're in times of heartache, when you're in times of uh, uh, situations that you just can't handle, just know God is there and he died for you and for me. Amen. God bless you. Father, we thank you for this word. We thank you for dying on the cross for us. We thank you for the crucifixion, God. We thank you for this word. We pray in Jesus' name that somebody will be touched, somebody will be blessed, that your anointing will break yokes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Well, praise God, people of God. I pray that this word touched you. I pray that uh, it will impact your, your world. And God bless you. Remember, the crucifixion was for you. Wow. Well, there's a view that uh, can only come from a mother. The crucifixion. The pain. The blood. The nailing to the cross. The mockery. Jesus said, no man takes my life, but I lay it down. He gave his life for us. Let us remember from the Last Supper, the betrayal of Judas, the prayer in the garden, his arrest, the forsaking of his disciples, the police brutality, the poor treatment, Judgment Hall, being led from Judgment Hall to Judgment Hall, from Pilate to hear it, back to Pilate. The Pharisees, those hypocritical religious leaders who manipulated and pressured Pilate into sentencing Jesus to death. Look at Jesus on the cross. Let's remember, he was nailed between two thieves. Let's remember he cried out time and time again, let's remember that he shed his blood for us and for our sin. 
Uh, Pastor Buckner sent me something. I don't know if you're on tonight, T. You sent me a, a picture of a receipt. And uh, the picture, the, the receipt had on it things. What did that receipt say? I thought that was the most uh, powerful thing. Jesus paid it all. Sin, paid for. Shame, paid. Pain, paid. Past mistakes paid, rejection and loneliness paid, slavery to sin paid, spiritual death paid, total total due zero. It's been paid. The grand total zero. It's been paid. The wages of sin is death. The gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Jesus paid it all. All to Him I owe. We give him thanks. We give him praise. Come on, worship with me right now. Lord, we love you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we praise you. As we remember your suffering, as we remember your foul treatment, as we remember your innocence, your holiness, your righteousness, we remember you fed the hungry and clothed the naked. We remember you forgave those who were caught in the act of adultery. We remember you healed the sick, even raised the dead. But your righteousness was exchanged for our sin and you paid the price for us. We worship you. Oh God, we thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, praise your Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. God, I pray that our time this week of fasting and getting in your word as all the ministers went forth, has built on our faith, built on our understanding, built on our passion, and even our commitment to you. That's our prayer tonight. God, we're praying for lost souls. We're praying for backsliders. We're praying for those who don't believe. Let them be changed. Let the gospel message, let the gospel message let the gospel message change their lives in the name of Jesus. Thank you for it, Lord. Thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, people of God, it has been wonderful. I've enjoyed this entire uh, week, uh, as I do every day, just ministering the word of God. But this has been special with the fast. This has been special. Now we go into a time where he died. He gave up the ghost. He said, it is finished. And he was buried in a borrowed tomb. We will come together Sunday to celebrate his resurrection. And we hope all of you would join us there. Be on time. Bring your shouting shoes. Let's praise the Lord. Let's have a good time. Bring your family. Let's celebrate the Lord together. Thank you for tuning in tonight. I want to Ask God's people to worship through their giving. Your special consecration offering, amen, for all the presentations that has gone forth and to identify with the Lord. Let's sow tonight. If you have a tithe, that is absolutely appropriate that you present that to the Lord. But in addition to that, I ask that you would sow that $30 seed. Release that unto the Lord and let God multiply it back to you. I want to thank God for those that released their $30 support, their sacrificial seed, their consecration offering earlier today. Thank you so much. We appreciate you and your support. Now we pray that everyone would worship through giving. If you don't have that, then you give what God has prospered you to have. Let him multiply it back to you. But giving is worship and we want to worship the Lord right now. Finally, for those that can't join us Sunday at the Silver Spot Cinema, make sure you tune in. It's going to be great. There's going to be a powerful presentation, and I'm sure that you will be blessed. Father, we thank you now for the Spirit of the Lord. Thank you for this internet connection, this streaming connection. Thank you. I thank you. I thank you that we're effective through technology. I thank you that we're able to minister from our location. I thank you. And I pray that that message would reverberate. I pray that that message would get in our bones, 
that that message would be in our hearts and in our minds, that we could minister from our location. But not only the message of it, but the reality of it. I pray in Jesus' name that everywhere we go, we would find ourselves postured and ready to minister. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you. I can't wait to minister to you on this Resurrection Sunday morning. Until then, peace to the family. If you believe in the power of prayer, join us at 8 a.m. every morning, Monday through Friday, on our prayer line. 712-775-8968. The access code is 304-282. Join Bishop Clark Monday through Fridays at 9 a.m. for our daily bread. It's refreshing, it's enlightening, and it's empowering. We'll see you there. Greetings, everyone. I'm Bishop Eric Kincaid Clark, and I'm creating a new model for ministry. We're going to be celebrating the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, at the Silver Spot Cinema, March 31st, 10 a.m. That's right. Sunday morning, Resurrection Sunday. You want to meet us in Orange Village at the Silver Spot Cinema. As I am creating a new model for ministry, I have a powerful word from the Lord. You want to be there. I look forward to seeing you. Until then, peace in the family. Good evening, everybody. We thank God you joined us on this midweek service. The word has been enriching and empowering, and it's helping us maximize our potential. Join us Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. for prayer. God bless you, and we'll see you there. There are several ways to support the Body of Christ Assembly through your giving. Through our cash app, dollar sign, B-O-C-A-C-H-U-R-C-H. -C -C you can mail in your donation to BACA at 20900 Miles Parkway, Warrensville Heights, Ohio 44128. Or you can call in your donation to 216-475-6327. Remember, every seed brings forth a harvest. Begin your gifting today.